Welcome to worship in this place at this time. If this is your first time worshiping with us, we are so glad you are here. And we pray that you will experience in this place the height of God's glory and the warmth of God's love. Would you help us continue to extend our welcome to you this week by filling out the blue and white welcome card found in your pew rack and place that in the offering plate later in the service. We are all friends in this place and so if you would find the red friendship register at the end of each pew, fill out your name and pass it along so that you might come to know those friends sitting with you this day. So many hands, so many hearts, so many hours, so many homes. It is hard to fathom the number of people who have offered a warm coat, a gift for a child, a blanket for a bed, an hour of gift wrapping, or a morning of companion shopping during this Christmas benevolence season. It is hard to fathom the number of homes that will be blessed by your giving in the days to come. This week, our work in Christmas Benevolence continues and culminates on Saturday, December 15th with Delivery Day, when all that has been gathered for each particular family will be delivered to each particular home with our particular prayer that our hands that offer and those hands that will receive will be joined in love that Christ brings to all of us. If you have an hour or two to share this week, there is still good work to do. Please visit the, ch the Second Church website to find out how your heart, your hands, and your time will touch the hearts and hands and homes of our neighbors this Christmas. Next Sunday is Christmas Music Sunday, when our sanctuary choir, organ, and festival orchestra will lead us in familiar carols and Nellie Bells, Nellie Bells, is that right? Nellie Bells, there we go. Estempe Natalis, a joyous proclamation of the baby born in Bethlehem. Please note that that Sunday morning, our worship services are at 8.15, 9.30, and 11.15. Now, I would like to invite our children to come forward for a time with Pastor Henry. Good morning. The first wonderful young person up here said, well, this is going to be problematic. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make it work. This is, this is great. I, I can see everybody. And the really important thing is, can all of you see this banner up here? Yeah. I was a little worried before the service, so I asked my friend, Mr. Bud, on the second floor, would you stand up, or second pew, would you stand up there? I said, maybe Bud can reach this one because I, but I think if I stand on my tiptoes, I can reach it. So let's see. Oh, I got it. All right. So would you like to unravel that and tell me what it says? Peace. Peace. Very good. Now, do you think you can reach up there and put it up? I don't know. Oh, no. Uh, oh. Try again. All right. Here we go. Here we go. You think you can reach it? All right. Here. Somebody told me that the preachers here were decreasing in stature each time a new one was called. So we might need to lower the banner next year or something. So that word is peace, and I want to talk to you about somebody that we don't always see because he's not at the manger, he's not in Bethlehem when Jesus is born, but he's in our story today, and his name is John the Baptist. Raise your hand if you've ever heard of John the Baptist. Very good. So does anybody know how John the Baptist relates to Jesus? Yes. Their family, that's right, they're in the same family. John the Baptist baptized Jesus. Jesus' cousin. And they were born on the same day? Maybe. I don't know. He baptized people. Very good. So that's how he got his name, John the Baptist. Before John the Baptist was born, his father, whose name was Zechariah, 
had a vision, and the last thing he said about his son, who was going to be John the Baptist, is, you will guide our feet into the way of peace. So I've been thinking this December, my wife Sarah bought a book called Doing December Differently, and I've been thinking about how this time we have left between now and Christmas, this Advent season, we might think about putting peace at the center of what we do because John the Baptist came so that we could guide our feet in the way of peace. And here's one way. Here's one way. Is anybody have an issue at your house where things are a little crazy around Christmas time? Raise your hand if things are a little bit of crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what if we, the children in our families, led the way of peace by saying, you know what? We can calm down. You know what? We can, instead of getting things for ourselves, get things for other people. Yeah. What's that? That's right. And the peace is even more fun sometimes, right? To be able to step back and remember this story we tell and remember the way of John the Baptist. So can we try to do that this week? Try to think about how we go in the way of peace? Okay, let's say a prayer together. One big prayer clap. One, two, three. Dear God, we thank you for peace. We thank you for peace. Help us to find peace and share it with others. Amen.